Hey, it's Thomas and Amber with Jigsaw Health. And it's another Muscle Monday, and today we are talking about our three most unique fat-burning foods. Why the most unique? Because every time you go on the internet, you find everyone talking about their top fat-burning foods, but we wanted to make it a little bit more, well, unique. Yep. So we're bringing to you three very different kind of foods that you wouldn't think are fat busters. Exactly. The first one we're gonna start off with is apple cider vinegar. Totally wild. Something that you know is probably good for your insides, but actually can affect your outsides too. Absolutely. So you can actually use this in a variety of different ways, from cosmetic to cleaning to cooking. But my favorite thing. Hair. <laughs> I thought you were just petting me. <laughs> and of course, your hair. But the main thing, the main reason I like this is because it actually reduces the amount of cellulite that you can see on your skin. That's pretty wild. Right? It, it actually changes some of the fat molecules just a little bit. So the, basically the issue with cellulite is the fact that it's fat molecules that are kind of binding with water close to the skin surface. So when you change the pH of the skin, it can actually change the pH of the fat cell and actually reduce the appearance of cellulite. Absolutely. But it's not just for visual aid. It actually does help on the inside too. So it helps regulate your metabolism, it helps regulate your pH of your intestinal tract, which hmm. means that you can potentially absorb more nutrients which means you can boost up your metabolism a little bit more. Definitely. I know he drinks this like by the gallon I and I bathe in it daily, so. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we'll do plenty, plenty of other videos on apple cider vinegar. Make sure you comment Absolutely. below and let us know if you like uh, apple cider vinegar, you wanna know any of our recipes or anything like that. For sure. What's next? Coconut oil, all right? So did you ever think that you could burn fat with fat? Okay, so the crazy thing about coconut oil is it is what is called a medium chain triglyceride. So totally different style of fat. It mm -hmm. actually bypasses the liver altogether. So it can just immediately be used for energy, which means just consuming a little bit of coconut oil can boost your energy levels, but also it helps shuttle fat into the cell for burning. So cool. But then coconut oil, like we use it for cooking all the time. We use it for cooking, but you can also use this in cosmetics. You can also use coconut oil on your hair, just like apple cider vinegar, to give it a really great shine and bring some life back into it. Exactly. And to add insult to injury, it's also got a lot of what's called lauric acid, which is very powerful in terms of building up your gut microbiota. So it helps do a lot of things in terms of building good, healthy bacteria and also fighting off viruses, which of course can make a big impact when it comes to burning fat. Absolutely. If you're sick and you're in bed, you're not burning fat. Right. Well, maybe. And if you're sluggish. You might be burning fat. fat if you're running like a 106 fever, but I think you have worse <laughs> things on your mind at that point. I think so. I think so. And what do we have next? This one is the one that you do some amazing recipes with. I, well, thank you. I, I would like to think I do. I make an amazing butternut squash soup with butternut squash, obviously. What are the health benefits of so butternut squash? The reason that it's on our list of unique fat burning foods is because it's unique. No, but really <laughs> simply because it has an effect on the liver, okay? It does something very, very interesting. It has something that's called PG-105. And what that PG-105 does is it actually increases what's called hepatic beta oxidation. I'm just gonna leave you with that and let you Google it. No, <laughs> Hepatic beta oxidation means it helps the liver metabolize fats, which means, therefore, you're burning fat, but can also reduce the instances of what's called a fatty liver, which is not a good thing. It can slow down your metabolism. Right. But it can also lead to, of course, cirrhosis. It can lead to liver disease. Wow. But what's, I mean, what are some of the things that people can do with butternut squash? I mean, you can cook it in soup. You can uh, roast it. I love to make butternut squash fries. I know people love sweet potato fries, which is a big thing now. I love to make butternut squash fries. Um, you can cut it in half and stuff it and bake it. It is so good. And here's a nifty trick with it too. If you get a whole butternut squash, what you can actually do is pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds whole, and it makes it a lot easier to peel it. There you go. And cut it. And additionally, it's only about a 13 to an 18 on the glycemic index scale and a three on the glycemic load scale. So that means it has a very, very low impact on your blood sugar. So if you're someone that's watching your blood sugar, perhaps you're diabetic and you have to be careful with that, mm -hmm. it's a very good choice if you're just trying to get that starchy feeling where it feels like you're almost eating a potato kind right. of thing without all the glycemic index uh, spike and the glycemic low that you would normally get. That's awesome. So as always, keep it locked in here on Jigsaw Health's channel. And make sure you tune in for another Muscle Monday. Atta girl. See you soon. <laughs> Bye.